Hi again. Today I will show you how to use uh, another sensor, a new sensor, which uh, measures volatile organic compounds. That is the ENS160 from uh, DF Robot. Uh, this, the module is from DF Robot. Uh, this sensor has uh, two different interfaces for connecting to your uh, processor, your development board. One is the I2C that uses the four pins on top of the PCB and the other is SPI that uses this part. In our experiment we're going to use these four for I2C. So, uh, I have the code ready for you so that we can test it in ESP32, our development board. And let's have a quick look at uh, this uh, library link from DF Robot just to show you the sensor in a better close uh, uh, pick. Here is the I2C interface that we are going to use. This uh, sensor, as I earlier said, measures volatile organic compounds. That means that uh, this includes ethanol, toluene, hydrogen, hydrogen, nitrogen di dioxides. And uh, it outputs the total volume of organic compounds, an air quality index, and a CO2 equivalent. That means uh, what is the effect of all these gases uh, if it was made only from CO2. But for example, if you are measuring, if you use this sensor for measurements in your uh, greenhouse, that means that uh, CO2 is the main uh, gas produced in there. And uh, so we can say that the equivalent and uh, pure CO2 measurement is the same thing. Now, let's see how we will connect and uh, run our code on uh, the Arduino ID. First of all, just have a look at the code here. This part is the initialization of uh, the sensor and here we set the power mode for the sensor and have a close look at this line it says set temp and hume it is a member function of the library that uh, informs our sensor about the temperature and humidity of the space where the measurements are uh, performed because both temperature and humidity are used for compensating the measurements. That means that if uh, humidity and temperature uh, conditions change in the room, you have to update it to get correct measurements from the sensor. Also, I have to say that the sensor needs around three minutes. This sensor needs around three minutes to warm up. This is a uh, quite uh, usual phenomenon with uh, sensors that measure gases. And uh, apart from this, you see that we have a lot of uh, serial prints to our serial console. And actually, we use three uh, member functions of the TF robot library. One is to get the TVOC, the total volume, total volume of organic compounds. The other is to get the equivalent CO2. And once more, to get the uh, air quality index. That means that we only use uh, three member functions to make our measurements apart from the initialization at the beginning of the code. It's a very simple code.
to use. So, one thing we have to be uh, to prepare before trying to compile the code is get the right library, which is this one. You can download it from GitHub at this link over here. But uh, in the new Arduino IDE, it is included in the library manager. Library manager you can also open from here. You see, I had earlier search for ENS 160 and I have two libraries one from SparkFun which also is another uh, manufacturer of such uh, sensor modules and one from DF Robot, which is the one I actually need so I will install this before running the code and also I have to connect my uh, sensor to the ESP32. As I earlier said, we're going to use the I2C interface over here, where we have the 3.3 pin at this point, next to it is the ground pin, then SCL and SDA, which are about connecting to the I2C interface on ESP32. Uh, the cables I use, the red is for the 3.3 volt, the black is for the ground, uh, the orange is for SCL and the brown is for SDA. So I'm taking my ESP32, 3.3 and ground are always at this part of the board so I will connect the red and black cables in these adjacent pins and then I have to see about the orange and brown which is SDA and SEL uh, the way I have them connected SEL is the orange one and as we see in the code here I have to at the comment of the codes so I have to connect SCL to pin 22 so the orange cable has to go to pin 22 uh, it is very hard for me to see it but pin 22 is here at this point I hope it is visible I will connect it, the orange one, to pin 22, yes, and as it says here, pin 21 has to be connected to the SDA from the sensor. What's left is the brown uh, cable, pin 21, better have a magnifying glass if you need to read these pin names and the pin 21 must be here uh, very hard to show in the camera I think so I will connect pin 21 there it's two pins to the right from the uh, orange cable. Actually, the third. There must be two empty pins between them. So it's okay. It's connected, ready to make measurements. I will connect the micro USB to my ESP32 and it is connected now I'm going to leave it for a while because I early, as I earlier said you need to wait for at least 3 minutes for the sensor to warm up so just to let some time pass I will first only verify the code 
just to be sure that everything's running. Oh yes, I forgot to select uh, the target board. So I go to tools, board, uh, ESP32, ESP32 dev module, yes. Since I don't have it connected, it doesn't uh, complain about pressing the verify button. It would complain if I used instead of the verify the upload because normally it would ask where should I upload my code. Now the sketch is compiling. Yes. Everything's done. There are no errors. Of course there are no errors because we have tested this code before. And now let's say enough time has passed so that we can upload our code to the ESP32 development board but even if the time is not enough it will uh, just uh, give us uh, false measurements at the beginning but after a few uh, minutes we expect that uh, measurements will be uh, correct so let's see I go to sorry upload and as I earlier said in our videos I have to press the boot button on the ESP to upload the code when the dots appear yeah I forgot forgot to provide the upload port I told you earlier that I had to do that but I forgot to do it uh, from earlier experiments I remember that my ESP32 appears in COM6 so I will just select it and retry to upload takes very short time for compiling because most work has been done earlier during verification phase and now with the dots I press not the first time not the second did I make it? yes the third time I managed to press right the boot button and it says that everything is okay when it says leaving hard resetting via RTS spin that means that our code has been uploaded it's okay so now I'm going to open from the tools the serial monitor let's see serial monitor has been initialized in 115,200 uh, 115, body yes and we see that measurements come out on the serial console actually a little too quick we can change the delay time in the loop because it's too fast Perhaps you want that, but I can't read so fast. I will uh, ask for a new measurement every 20 seconds. Once again, I'm expecting to press the boot when the dots appear. but I know everything works fine this time it worked with my first try code is uploaded and going to the serial monitor I get uh, my measurements on the serial monitor 
it says that the air quality index is one which is very good the total uh, concentration of the volatile organic compounds is low 30 parts per billion and the carbon dioxide equivalent concentration it says it's around 400 uh, ppm parts per million you see various measurements here if I go and uh, blow exhale on top of the sensor it will give you another measurement you see that from 411 which was the last measurement it got to 784 I can try again No, it wasn't 784. 784 was the uh, total volatile organic compounds. Nine se 947 was the parts per million, and uh, later it went up to 1131 for equivalent uh, carbon dioxide uh, concentration. Now that I'm not blowing anymore on the sensor, these values will go. Uh, actually down again you see ECO2 is 512 the air quality index that was too high from 4 got back to 2 and I assume that in the next measurements we will go back to air quality index 1 and uh, a low uh, carbon dioxide equivalent of 462 which is close to our original uh, measurements.